This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Liberty New Mexico State matched up for the first of two games against these two teams. This time, game one was in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Liberty won the toss and really got off to a good start as Frankie Hickson scored from 22 yards out to put the Flames up 7 to nothing. Flames would go down 21-7 before a roughing the kicker penalty on New Mexico State gave the Flames the football back late in the second quarter. Buckshot Cowart finding Antonio Gandy Golden to pull the Flames within a score 21 to 14 going into halftime. It was Buckshot Cowart's legs that tied the game with his touchdown run to make it 21 apiece. After that, it just became a track meet. Flames were down by two scores. They would come back within one. They would give up a score. They'd fight back. In the end, though, it was a New Mexico State 49-41 win, withstanding a good punch from Liberty late as the Flames would fall to 2-3. and three. We caught up with Frankie Hickson, who had a career-high 155 yards rushing, and head coach Turner Gill after the ball game. Pretty much they executed better than we did when you really get back to the game. And then I think the obvious thing is uh, two turnovers, uh, an interception and a fumble. Uh, I think if we don't have those two plays, I think we uh, have a greater chance to win the football game. And then we just missed too many tackles on the defensive perspective. Uh, they caught us in some certain blitzes that they had and on the offensive side for us protection. They had a good scheme. We made some adjustment, and they kept making adjustment. In some cases, they made some things. We ran the ball really well. Uh, we just didn't make enough plays, and uh, I give credit to Mexico State. I just think that it was, you know, a ground and pound type game for me personally. Um, you know, just waiting for my uh, – O-line to open some bigger holes up for me um, and, you know, get a couple extra chances to uh, to break off some longer runs. Flames also had DJ Stubbs and Antonio Gandy-Golden go over 100 yards receiving, but in the end, it was the Aggies who go to 2-4 and four with a 49-41 win. Sets up now Liberty back at home for the next two weeks. Game one in that stretch against Troy next Saturday at 2 o'clock in Williams Stadium with the Flames in Las Cruces, New Mexico. My name is Alan York for LibertyFlames.com.